Hello everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate how to validate XML files in Power Automate. To do this, we're going to use an XML file validation action which is available in our document conversion connector. There are a lot of complex flow designs you can use this action within, but I'm going to keep my demo extremely basic so you can just get a sense for the basic underlying service. Let's dive right in. As always, I'm first creating my flow and giving it a name, and then selecting the option to trigger it manually. This way, I can have full control over my data and demonstrate the connector functionality without any external actions. On the flow diagram page, I'm first grabbing my demo file with a SharePoint get file content action. This file just contains sample XML data from a trusted online source, and after finding this action and configuring my site address and file details, I'm ready to jump into the validation step. Once we're ready, let's create a new step and type Cloudmersive into the search bar. From here, we're going to select the Cloudmersive document conversion connector. Please note that we have a separate connector called the data validation connector, which understandably you might assume would house this action. Let's make sure we avoid that connector and click on the document conversion connector with the lime green logo. If you haven't used this connector before, you'll first need to provide an API key and name your connection. You can get an API key for free by visiting our website and registering a free account. This will allow up to 800 API calls per month with no additional commitments once that limit is reached. From the actions list, let's type validate XML and select that option when it comes up. Once we click on it, we can then configure our request information. Since we're just validating a file, all we need to do is add our file content via the dynamic content window and provide our file name with a relevant extension. After those two pieces of information are configured, we can finally test the connector action functionality. I'm now quickly saving and testing my flow. After confirming all the usual details, I'm clicking Run Flow and awaiting results. When the flow finishes running, I'm opening the connector body. As we can see, we have four response categories providing Boolean, integer, and object responses. The Boolean determines the document validity and can be used to divert or stop the flow from running if files are found to be invalid. The error count and warning count integers identify how many problems there are within the document, if any. Finally, the object response sitting between these integers provides more extensive information on what exactly those errors and warnings are, if there were any. It's important to note that valid XML files can of course cause problems, especially if they happen to contain external entity references which we aren't aware of. We do have a separate security connector action designed specifically to check for XXE attacks, which I'll demonstrate in a separate video. With this demo complete, we've reached the end of this video. As always, I hope you found this solution relevant to your project. If you have any follow-up questions, please feel free to contact a member of our sales or support team. I'll include a link for you in the description below.